All right, I just wanted to walk you through kind of a tour of Libsyn so that you can make your way around inside here once you get in. I am going to use a show that actually has some episodes populated and quite a few downloads so that you can understand the stats a little bit better by actually seeing some stats that you can uh, investigate there. All right, so when you come into Libsyn, this is what you're going to see. This is the dashboard, so if you were to click on this, it would just refresh this page. Uh, there are some things down here. You can do a quick publish. You can add a media file. You can add a thumbnail. All of that for this particular episode. That's not what, usually what we're going to use. We're going to go over here to content and add a new episode because it gives us more options. You're also going to have a snapshot of your stats here, but that's not the whole story. We'll get into that in a minute. We can go right here or up here at the top to see the stats, which we'll do in a moment. Uh, comments, this has to do with uh, you have a commenting function turned on for your Libsyn web page, then you would see the comments here. We usually turn those off because people very seldom comment on the Libsyn web page, and it's just another thing to have to uh, get into. And then this is social destinations. This is if you have any of your social media outlets connected to your Libsyn page, which you can do and which will enable you to publish automatically to those platforms when an episode goes live or at a different time than when an episode goes live. I'll show you that in a moment. So that's all the dashboard. Let's talk about the content. You see here are where you add an episode. You can add text posts just like it was a blog. We don't ever do that. I don't know anybody who does that because <laughs> Libsyn is not really a blogging platform, but they have it in here. And then that option, add a file for download only, we seldom use that. The only time we would use that is if it's for a bonus or something that people have to pay for and you want to put it behind a paywall and all that kind of stuff, which we typically don't see people doing. You can also go here and see your previously published episodes. You can see episodes that are currently scheduled for release. You can see drafts, so things that you've started on but haven't saved or scheduled yet. And then uh, FTP unreleased media is media you've uploaded but you haven't added to any kind of a post yet. And then your file managers, just where you can go in and see all the files you've ever uploaded and manage them in a way. We don't ever get into those. The three we use the most are these three right here. Previously published, scheduled for release, and drafts. And then up here we use add new episode much of the time. All right, let's talk about this next one, destinations. Destinations refers to where your show is being pushed to. Okay, so that means iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, all of those. We'll come back and look at this in a moment. Monetizing, we hardly ever deal with because this is when you have sponsors that have come to you through Libsyn. And you can reach out to Libsyn and ask them about that, and they'll give you all the details. We don't have any clients who use Libsyn for those purposes. Stats, this is really what we're going to get into in a minute. You can go and see your show level stats and then your Spotify stats, which are separate from the stats you'll see in show stats. Because Spotify calculates their stats a little differently, Libsyn shows them differently. All right, so then storage, this just shows you the same thing. It shows you down here how much of your storage space you've, you're using in a given month. Your settings, you can edit the settings for this show. You can edit your content categories, which means categories inside of Libsyn. This has nothing to do with iTunes or any of those things. Um, then there's your billing, your episode defaults, color swatches, close show. None of those do we ever use. We just use them initially to set up a show. And then you have a help section over here that has a knowledge base, which is very good. They have a lot of videos in there that you can go in and check. And uh, that's basically it. So let's go back and look at some of these in-depth content. Let's look at previously published. All right, and what that's going to take you to is a page that shows you all of your episodes from most recent going backward, showing you the publication date and time, and showing you the category that they've been, been assigned to. Now, this category, again, is inside of Libsyn only. There's not really much use for that for most applications, so I would just ignore the category. All right, let's go back a page, and we'll look at the next one down, the scheduled for release. This will show you what is scheduled at any given time. I'll show you the date it's scheduled for and the time, name of the episode, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can always go in here and edit that if you need to. You can grab your links and embed codes for that particular episode. So here's the direct download. This is what you would use in social media most of the time. But if you scroll down here, you can click this and get an embed code 
which you can then use to display a player like this that actually works. And you would use this on websites, things like that, that you want to post it to. I've seen clients share that with people who are guests on their episode. And that guest would then make a blog post on their own website and include the player. That's a great use of that player. All right, let's turn that off and we will go back here and look. Uh, this also is a way you can look at the details of the episode. Okay, it's going to tell you everything that's filled out for that episode, shows you all the destinations that it's going to, uh, and the time that it's going to go there. You notice it says pending because these are all scheduled. And then expiration date means if you set up, for example, a, a promo for your show that you're you're doing for a certain amount of time, when you add that file to Libsyn, you can set it up to expire at a certain time so that after your promo period is over, it will just disappear from all the podcast players and apps and the feed. Works really well for that sort of thing. All right, so let's go back to what you're really wanting to know about, and that's the destinations and the stats. All right, destinations, I'm going to go to edit and view existing, and it'll show you all the places that have been set up for this particular show. And this one's got Amazon Alexa. That's a difficult one to set up, and I don't know that Libsyn's even offering it anymore. This show was around when that was offered. Um, their Android app, if anybody has the Libsyn Android app, it, they can find it there. Deezer is another uh, you can add to Facebook on publish, meaning it publishes directly to Facebook immediately. Google Play Music, iHeartRadio, iPhone, iPad app that Libsyn has. The Libsyn Classic feed, this is what you submitted to all of the directories that they pull your information from. The Microsoft Windows app that Libsyn creates. Network app listing, I don't even know what that is, quite honestly. <laughs> Pandora. A podcast page, this is the web page that Libsyn provides for you, and I'll show you a, a preview of it here real quickly. It's right over here. This is what this one looks like. You can change this header. You can change this text. All of this can be changed. Very few of our clients use this at all. Uh, you also have radio.com, Radio Public, Spotify, my Twitter account, uh, and that's because this is my show. Uh, the web player is that player we looked at earlier. You can come in here and uh, customize it a little bit. And then YouTube for things to push automatically to YouTube. You'll see here also your different feed addresses. If you ever need to copy your Libsyn Classic feed that pushes to the various places, it's right there. You can come and get it there. All right, now let's go into stats. All right, I'm gonna just going to click on stats, and it'll take you into the overall show stats. And this may look green if you see it. It's a dark theme, which looks like this. Uh, I like the light theme, so I just click the button, use the light theme. And what you're looking at, is an overview. This is episode totals breakdown, and it's showing you here unique downloads over all of your show across time that it's been in Libsyn. So it's over 3 million for this one. It's pushing four for this show. It's been in less than two years. All right, so this is showing you the, the episodes that have been most recent, okay, released most recently, and showing you downloads for August, September, October. See, there's none for August and September, because this was released in October. And then this is showing you the download total for that particular episode. So let me go back a few pages on this, and I'll show you one that has, see here, September and October. This total is a combination of these two. Okay. Now, if you wanted to go into one of these episodes in particular, you would use the, hourglass, or the spyglass over here to dig into the details and see the details on it. I will do that in just a moment. But first, I want to go down here and show you a few other things. Okay, this is showing you your Twitter account that's connected and how many followers there are, uh, your particular Facebook pages, etc., and how many uh, responses you've gotten there. This is another way of looking at your downloads, and this is per day. So you see this show is just gradually getting higher and higher and higher. It's just growing like a weed, all right? And then you can go down here and see some other views. This is downloads per episode, whereas up here was just overall unique downloads uh, in the most recent ones, okay? This is going to show uh, a more granular approach when you dig into it. Over here, you can see your destinations. You see the majority of the downloads for this show are coming through the Libsyn Classic feed, which makes total sense because that's what is going to the various web players, to Apple Podcasts, 
to all those. And by the way, Apple Podcasts is the big aggregator app for podcasting, so it makes sense that it would be this high. And then you can come down here if you've got the advanced stats package, and you can see where your episodes are mostly being downloaded. See, the United States, 1 million overall of the downloads so far has been here in the United States, Canada. See, you can hover over any of these places and see where your episodes are being downloaded. Look, even in New Zealand, getting downloads on this one. And the scale is over here. And then down here at the bottom are the user agents. These are the various devices people are using to look at this show. So Apple Core Media is Apple Podcasts and all things related. Um, Podcasts is another app. iTunes is the online version for PC that Apple has. CastBox, Chrome, Podbean, Pandora, Mozilla, Stitcher. These are all places people are listening to the show. And you see there's multiple pages of it that you can drill through. All right, so let's go back up here to the top and look at an individual episode. And we're going to drill into it. I'm going to go another page back so that we have more months worth of content to look at. All right, see, this one has three months worth of content. So let's just pick this episode right here. And we're going to go into the details. And I'm going to show you the numbers that really matter. Okay, what it's showing you here is that it was released in August. This many downloads happened in August. This many more in September. This many more in October. And the point I want to make here is remember that your episodes are evergreen content. People will continue to download them even though they published three months ago. You want to keep that in mind. That is what you need to know when you're publishing things because you can always publicize old episodes and get more downloads and more listeners to your show that way. All right, we're going to scroll down here and you're going to see here's where the episode launched. Its initial spike in downloads was the very first day and then it just gradually diminished, but it still gets downloads all throughout here. You see those numbers, 35, 50, 51, 23. You see it still gets downloads. And then it's showing you the same stats, the same breakdown per country for that particular episode. Now, going back to the top, here's what you really want to pay attention to, especially if you ever think about getting sponsors. You want to click into that episode and you want to see how many downloads has it had from its launch for the next 30 days, okay? And what you can do is you can change the, the dates here. Now, I like to do it back on this page, okay, just because it's a little easier for me to, to get my brain around, all right? So uh, this was August 26th that it launched. So I'm going to pick 40 days out. It's 30 to 40 days is what you want to pay attention to. So 30 days out would be 826. Let's just start there. I'm, I'm just going to use their calendar. That'll be easier. So 826, 2019, and hit run. And it's going to show me the data for this particular search string. So 726 to 826. It's showing daily, weekly, and monthly. And so it's showing there were 7,500 downloads within the first 30 days. Okay, if you're ever talking to an advertiser, that's what you're looking for. Now, one thing you should consider is on top of the stats you just looked at, Spotify has its unique stats over here in the side as well. So you can click into the show level or the episode level. Let's just go into the show level and I'll show it to you. It looks just the same, only it says Spotify up here. And it's going to show you downloads on Spotify. Once again, you can drill into an individual episode and see details for it as well. I hope that's helpful to you.